Hello students. In the last lecture of light, we have seen that how the light behaves. Light behaves sometimes like particle and sometimes like wave. And that's why we have considered and finally understand that the light behaves in dual nature. So, let's today we start that how the light behave at the interface of two media. At the interface, let's the surface is the interface. It is P Q. When a light ray falls, some part of it is absorbed at the interface, which is called the absorbance of light. Some part is transmitted along with a change in direction, and this is called refraction of light, and some part is reflected into the same medium, which is called reflection of light. And that is what our today's topic. So, you can have a view of yourself if you look into a very obvious mirror. You all have a looking mirror in the, your house as well as in the water level, in some pond or in window glass. You can have the view how you are looking. Now you have a mirror and I want to know that in the mirror where you see your image at the mirror, in front of the mirror or in the back side of the mirror. Your answer will be in the back side of the mirror. Now I want to ask you that do you know why you can see your image? Let's check out in today's topic reflection of light. The mirror the mirror is shown by this arrangement. The plain line shows the smooth surface or the reflective surface and this dashed line part shows that this part is polished. Now we are about to get the idea of reflection. We have an incident ray which is the light ray which falls on the mirror. It travels towards the mirror and strike it at a point and a reflected ray which is the part of the intensity of light which is travel back into the same medium. So this is the process of reflection. Now we are about to know the terminologies related to the reflection of light. Let's see. This is what we say incident ray. This is the normal which is at 90 degree angle from the refractory surface and at the point of incidence. Now the part of intensity which is reflected back or jump back into the same medium by striking the mirror is shown by this ray and this is the called reflected ray. Now this is the angle which is called angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection. So we can now go on a quick revision that this ray is called incident ray and this ray which is reflected back into the same medium is called reflected ray. At the point of incidence the imaginary line which is at 90 degree from the reflectory surface is called the normal. The angle between the incident ray and the normal ray is called angle of incidence which is denoted by the small letter i. So it is angle of incidence. Also we have the glance angle of incidence which is the angle between the incident ray and the reflectory surface. This is GI, glance angle of incidence. Now we are at the reflection angle. This is the intensity which is reflected back and this is the line normal. And this angle is called angle of incidence. It is denoted by the small letter R and also we have 
glance angle of reflection which is the angle in between the reflected ray and the refractory surface. So this angle is called glance angle of reflection and it is denoted by GR. So this is the terminology we use for the reflection of light. Now we want to know that if there is some law which actually governs the process of reflection or not. So let's see. Laws of reflection is our new topic. Laws of reflection if asked then the first law of reflection says the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal lies in the same plane at the point of incidence. This is the first law we have and the second law we have is about the angles. The angles between incident ray and normal and reflected ray and normal. As you know, this angle is angle of incidence and this angle is angle of reflection. According to the law of reflection, the second law of reflection, we say that angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. Wherever the reflection will take place, these two laws will be obeyed by the process. So, let's check out what we have in it. We have the types of reflection as our new subtopic. We have the regular reflection and the diffused reflection. What do you mean by the regular reflection? According to regular reflection, if we have a plain polished surface which can behave like a refractory surface nicely, we see that if we have a beam of light which is consisted of parallel light rays which are coming towards the refractory surface then due to the following the obeying of the law of reflection by the rays we see that the refractory surface is actually reflects light beam in such a way that the parallel incident ray beam remains parallel after reflection too and this is called regular reflection. Now let's check what is regular, what is irregular or diffused reflection. Diffused reflection is the reflection which is done by the the diffused reflection is the reflection which is done by the irregular surfaces like this which do not have a plane or regular curvature. If the parallel rays fall on such surfaces then after reflection what we observe is different. Let here is the normal to the surface and the law of equal angle of incidence and equal angle of reflection states that the light ray after reflection should move here. Similarly, it moves here and this ray should move in this direction and as we see that the light ray which were parallel when they were incidenting on the surface remained in parallel when they reflected back from the surface. This is the diffused reflection and it is observed that this is shown by the all the rough surfaces and the regular reflection is shown by all the grand shiny surfaces which behaves like proper refractory surfaces. So, do you want to know how we can uh, read the newspaper or the books? It is because 
the book or the newspaper being rough actually gives the diffuse reflection and the light ray after incidenting on them distributes or uh, gets spread into all directions and we can read them so let's have a question we have a question that what is the angle between the incident ray and the normal scot so let's have a question we have the question then angle of incidence is the angle between incident ray and pitch line and we have another question that according to the laws of refraction which angle are equal so let's answer the angle between the incident ray and dash that is the normal line as you have remembered that it is the line which is imaginary and at 90 degree angle and at the point of incidence also the law of reflection that it is equal to the angle of reflection so let's move away